Hello, I'm Michael Gross, host of the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. We're at the newly opened Telegraph exhibit in the B&O's Mount Clare Station in Baltimore, which highlights the first public demonstration of the Telegraph, sent by Samuel Morse to Alfred Vail across the B&O Railroad's line from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore. On May 24, 1844, for the first time in human history, people were able to communicate instantaneously out of sight of one another. Samuel Morse, best known as the inventor of the telegraph and Morse code, was granted $30,000 in 1843 by the U.S. Congress to construct an experimental telegraph line. The line ran some 40 miles from Washington, D.C. to the B&O Railroad's Mount Clare Station, now the site of the B&O Railroad Museum in Baltimore. The first public demonstration of this new communication technology occurred on May 24, 1844. Morse, positioned with an official viewing party in the old Supreme Court chamber in the United States Capitol, sent the first message, What hath God wrought? to his partner, Alfred Vail, in Baltimore. In 1851, dispatching trains by telegraph began, thus revolutionizing railroad operations and communication between distant locations. Ten years later, in 1861, Western Union began its first transcontinental telegraph line mainly along railroad right-of-ways, extending telegraph communications coast to coast. This incredible advancement in communication technology was indeed the world's first internet. Who was the first female telegrapher in U.S. history? Find out after this break. I've been working on the railroad. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass. Abby Struble Vaughn was the first woman telegrapher to be hired in the United States. She worked for the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania from the late 1860s to the early 1870s and was promoted to a telegraph operator manager. In 1866, she married J. L. Vaughn, a telegraph lineman, and moved to Texas where she continued her career as an operator for the Texas and Pacific Railroad. The Vaughns moved their entire family of five children into the depot where she worked, and all of their children later became telegraphers themselves. In 1891, Abby Struble Vaughn moved to Mexico and worked as an operator for the Mexican National and Mexican Central Railroads. After the 1911 Revolution of Mexico, Ms. Vaughn settled and retired in Long Beach, California. In 1917, at the age of 72, Abby Struble Vaughn came out of retirement and taught telegraphy to soldiers preparing to leave for World War I. She died in 1924. Though the telegraph is no longer used in today's world, it remains an important technological milestone that gave way to modern technology now used daily. Plan a visit to the museum to learn more about the telegraph and uh, type out some of your own messages. I'm Michael Gross. Thanks for watching the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. Across the United States, the rising cost of government coupled with tough economic conditions has forced cities and towns to do more with less. That's when they turn to grant capital management for alternative funding solutions. Grant Capital Management, a leading provider of lease financing to the public sector, helps public administrators supplement their capital budgets, enabling them to provide essential community services. Founder and CEO J.P. Grant believes in giving back to the communities in which it conducts business. While working in New Orleans, Grant Capital Management made a significant donation to fund the New Orleans Recreation Development Foundation's youth programs. As a result, 
new recreation activities, and the Summer Jobs Initiative helped reduce crime. When a fiscal crisis in Grant Capital Management's home city of Baltimore threatened to close municipal swimming pools, their financial assistance made it possible for Baltimore's children to have a safe and happy summer. And when the company learned of the award-winning early childhood learning programs at the b and Railroad Museum, they provided funding to help the museum develop programs especially tailored for at-risk youth. Grant Capital Management believes that giving back is more than an obligation. It's a way of doing business. Interested in learning more about the B&O Railroad Museum and Ellicott City Station? Follow us on Facebook and Twitter with daily updates on upcoming events, coupons, photographs, history, and things to do in Baltimore. You'll never be off track.